Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create um, flashlight, a flashlight in virtual reality that you can pick up and toggle on and off. Uh, so what I'm doing here is just loading up the basic VR example in the Unreal Editor and um, now I'm cleaning up because I forgot to delete the starter content, delete this here, yes, delete, thanks, okay. And after I deleted all those models, I can also delete the maps that I'm not using. For example, the startup map and the um, HMD locomotion map. Yeah, so delete those. And after that, we can load up the motion controller map and, uh, oh yeah, we should uh, set the default map to the motion controller map so that we won't start with an empty level whenever we start the Unreal Editor. Okay, so load up the motion controller map and we're quickly going to modify it to uh, so that we can test the flashlight because testing a flashlight in broad daylight is not so fun. So what I'm doing here is just duplicating the floor to act as a ceiling. Uh, so yeah, let's move that up here. And after that, I'm going to add a quick point light right by the table where I'm going to put the flashlight later on so the player knows where to pick it up. And then we're going to build the lightning lighting sorry and after that you can see it's really dark now so the flashlight actually has a use okay um, so I'm quickly just importing all the assets I'm going to use uh, got me a flashlight model from turbo squid because right now I don't have my modeling software installed and it's really just um, to save some time because it's really a really basic model. Yeah, and also I'm doing a, uh, doing a custom light cone for the spotlight, uh, which is uh, just a material set as a light function and then just plug in the light cone into the immersive channel. Yeah, after that, just uh, put the material on the flashlight model so that's all set up. Yeah, so the basic blueprint functionality that we're going to do is just duplicate the uh, blueprint pickup cube that we have in the level because it's basically what we need. We need an object that we can pick up and then call events on the object. So what I'm doing here is just duplicating that, changing the model, changing the flashlight model, uh, changing the block model to our flashlight model and then changing the material of uh, that blueprint so that it looks like an actual flashlight. Um, okay, so next we're going to add the spotlight that we're toggling on and off and moving that up to the top of the flashlight and moving it to the center and then just rotating it up so it's all aligned correctly. And what you want to do is uh, you want to center this and also you want to move this up a bit from the actual model because before um, when I tested this with a simple cube, I had the uh, spotlight aligned with the edge of the cube and that caused some serious flicking issues. So what we're going to do next is uh, create a new custom event and um, we'll just call this toggle lamp because that's what we're doing toggling the lamp of the flashlight and um, we're going to get our spotlight from our blueprint and from that on we'll call um, we we'll toggle the visibility of our light whenever we call our event so we're done here close this down and open up the motion controller pawn, which is 
basically just the blueprint that controls every input that happens with the motion controllers. In my case, those are Vive fans, but you can also do this with Oculus Touch controllers or whatever VR device you're using. Um, yeah. So what we need to do next is add some additional um, keys, like action mappings. And um, what we want to do here is add the motion controller right face button 3, um, which is the lower part of the touchpad of our motion controller uh, on the Vive fan. Yeah. So do that. Go back into the blueprint and add a new event like the input action toggle flashlight. So when we press that, uh, we want to cast to our uh, blueprint flashlight, see if what we're holding is actually our blueprint flashlight. So uh, next up, we need to get the object um, that we want to compare against, and that's uh, we're doing that by getting the right controller actor um, and from that uh, getting that uh, get attached actor component which basically just tells us what object we're currently holding and then we're going to see is that object our flashlight yes no and if it is uh, we're going to call our custom ev event that we just created the target lamp yeah okay so compile this save this down place the flashlight in the level so we can actually pick it up uh, rotate it a bit 90 degrees so it doesn't stand straight up and then we can test it so let's get into the game teleport to our table and Pick this up and what you can see here I left this in on purpose is um, that there are additional bindings on our touchpad which are for like a, a different teleportation method method where you can rotate the direction in which you're teleporting but we won't need this uh, right now so what I'm going to do here is just remove those bindings and uh, we don't need the axis mapping, so just gonna remove those as well. And what I need to do now, yeah, is uh, remove the teleport bindings. Uh, we don't need both, we just need one. Uh, remove that, remove that, and change this to face button one, uh, left and right. Uh, respectively, because face button one is opposed to face button three, the upper part of our Vive fan touchpad. And when we've done that, we can just go into the game, check this out, see if it works. Uh, what you'll need to do is clean up the blueprint because it won't compile if you will recompile it now because it has some errors uh, because of missing uh, action mappings. but. I'm sure you'll figure that out on your own. And yeah, that's basically it. A flashlight that you can pick up and toggle. Thanks for watching.